Now for all Wrexham's possession, it has been set pieces that has been their greatest route to goal, and they're almost in again. Great save by Turner. Oh, and that's even better to deny Davis a second time. Well, the Farnborough marking was all over the place, but fortunately their goalkeeper is at his most sharp and reactive. The first save is excellent. The second here is outstanding. And that's why we're at nil-nil. Another Wrexham corner. And this time they'll score. And it's Mullin. Well, we've hardly mentioned his name, but we do when it matters most. Early in the second half, the top scorer gives Wrexham the lead. What can he do? Score! Pendlebury! Behind for less than a quarter of an hour. Farmer have merited that. They reacted so positively. And now they have themselves the opportunity to knock Wrexham out, maybe. He breaks for Syed, he's through on goal. And Howard makes his best save of the afternoon. And, well, Farnborough, look how close they came to turning this completely around. Keeping it alive. It's cleared, but not very far. It reaches Lee! Stunning. The moment the ball arrived at his feet, the Wrexham fans were shouting shoot, and that's the reason why. A breathtaking finish from Elliot Lee. And Wrexham are back in front, and might that be decisive? Holds it up well, Palmer, and now Young. And the flag has stayed down, and McFadden and Mullin, game over. Two goals in four minutes, and Wrexham's class has finally told. And Farnborough's resistance is finally quelled. And Mullin, all of a sudden, has himself a brace. Wrexham three, Farnborough one. And you have to say, it has not been a fair reflection at all, 3-1. They've contributed so much, but they're going to concede another, and inevitably, it's a hat-trick for Paul Mullen. A half in which he did nothing in the first 45 minutes. He now illuminates the game with a second-half trio, and Wrexham are through.